Hey, hey, how doing, Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Rise of the Ronin boss guy. Today we are going to be taking on two bosses again, but this is going to be one fight after another. Uh, there's a little bit of a break kind of thing in between, but the first boss we're going to be taking on is going to be her, uh, which is going to be Sana Chiba. So, yeah, let's get into it. So for Sana, I wouldn't say this is going to be a super tough fight. Uh, she has like 3 hit combos following a red attack. She sometimes will start off with a red attack, like a sweep, and then the combo just keeps going for a while. So I like to just bait a few moves from her, uh, keep distance, and then she'll do this spin attack. So after 3 spins, she'll launch like a kick at you and you can parry, parry that. And then get about two or three hits in. Uh, she also has a stab and a swing that's also a two hit. So just parry the second hit. Stab, swing, see, parry the second hit. Get about three hits in and then back away. And I'm just mainly baiting for this kick attack. The stab and a swing, it's uh, it's random. And there's there's the double hit with a kick. Alright, so we knew that. Uh, she kind of backed me up in the corner here, so I had no choice. It was either parry that or get hit. <laughs> so, yeah. Stab, swing, one, two, three. Okay, we got a fourth hit in there. Alright, the spinning kick. There we go, parry that. One, two, three, four. Alright, back away. Stab and a hit. So, yeah. If you keep like this, then these are mo like the main moves that she will do. If you keep it, like, if you are fighting her up close, uh, then she'll start doing like other stuff that I think it's gonna be a little bit more complicated There's also this red attack where she jumps up on the wall and she launches herself the the moment she jumps up at the wall and Like she flashes red. Uh, that's when you want to parry and yeah, the launch is really freaking fast uh, I think that's probably The move that will do the most damage if you miss but it's also like I guess easy to parry because it's a straight like <laughs> there's not much delay so you use flashes and just oh never mind you freaking got whacked she was like easiest move to parry and yeah see there's a whole bunch of combos if you are finding her up close so yeah highly recommend you just bait the the launch attacks so yeah uh keeping distance She's doing the wall launch again, there we go, parry that, one, two, three, four, stab and a swing, one, two, three, four, okay, I thought that was for sure gonna take her down, but, anyways, uh, on to the next fight. So, yeah, like I said, there is a little break in between, so after you beat her, there's this, like, checkpoint here which you can refill your healing items if you need to. And once you come down here, there is Hachiro. And there's no way to get around it. He makes you fight him. So he has like two phases. So first phase, this brushing attack, uh, you can parry as soon as it flashes red when he gets close to you. Um, whenever like you parry his last hit or whatever, he will attempt to do a second red attack. It doesn't matter if you parry, like the first one you parry, it's like a regular attack or a red attack. The second hit will always be a red attack, so he, he'll either do a swing or he'll do a red jumping attack. So red swinging attack or red jumping attack. Um, oh, unless of course his first hit that you parry is a jumping red attack, then that's where uh, you'll get away from the second red attack. As combos aren't too crazy. Uh, second phase here, there is one red attack I don't really want to parry so like we parried a regular attack there so there was a red attack swing this move right here i can't get the timing down the double like i don't know like i don't know what you want to call it <laughs> clap attack with the swords but yeah uh that one just you can dodge it by dodging back uh the rest is gonna be a swing and a stab so yeah when you parry his last hit it'll either be a red swing or a red stab uh, in this version of the fight, he doesn't have a red jumping attack. His jumping attack becomes a neutral, and he has a follow-up as well. See? And then you get about like three to four hits. 
and if we can nail the double parry timing now I mean it's not there's no like weird delays it's just the moment of flash is just parry uh, you can probably sneak in one attack in between but yeah you can just or you can just focus on parrying and that will like destroy your stamina one see one attack and then parry again and I guess it also depends on like what weapon you're using too if it's like a slow weapon then I'm pretty sure you won't be able to uh, sneak in a single attack there but yeah the boss itself doesn't really do a lot of damage either which was surprising he looks like a super heavy hitter but apparently that's not the case but yeah uh, that's pretty much it for that mission completes uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the equips we used for this fight so pretty much the same as all the previous episode well more or less the same um, here are my gears and he doesn't do anything special so we don't really need any special curatives and there are my stats if you're curious on what I have and here's the stats I used and here's the difficulty but yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video so I thank you all so very much for watching hopefully this video has helped if you are struggling against this boss and if it did Hopefully you all will stay tuned for more. Until next time, hope to catch y'all later. Oops. Oops.